Hi, welcome to part two of my little vlog thing. Um, this is most likely for this is most this video is mostly for my teacher, just so she can know what was up, um, and for my family as they can see whatever. But also, you're more than free than welcome, more welcome, more free, whatever. You can watch, <laughs> um, just listen to what I'm saying really quick. So my my first video, the day-to-day -day life, um, that's just mostly, obviously, my day-to-day -day life as a college student who does work at the same time. Um, and as you can see, my time management is pretty much non-existent there. Um, I've been trying, but really nothing has been sticking with me. But near the end, I did start getting, like, the hang of it, which was really just, like, maybe last week. Um, but this is more of a video of just talking about my research and what I'm planning to do and what I have been doing throughout all this, um, few weeks that we've been assigned with this. So, obviously, my topic is time management, and it's really non-existent, and I'm really planning to get that changed for my next quarter, my following quarters, because I am not close to be done with school. So, I did a lot of research on different websites and whatnot. But the two um, websites that really stuck with me and where I actually like was able to get more um, like advice sort of from are the two websites called Five Ways to Balance School and Work as an Adult and Does Time Management Work. So from the first one, um, some of the things that like, you know, I have been I realized I have been doing or that I need to do a little bit more um was take great lecture notes which i already do my notes are like color coded and they're very simple like it's very easy for me to like actually like get it into my brain i think just because i have like colors for different things like formulas definitions and whatnot or examples like i have them in different colors and then reduce distractions while you're studying um make lists of the tasks you need to accomplish and consider talking to your boss which I really need to do and get enough sleep. And then in my next, in the next um, website for does time management work, um, the ones that stuck with me most is prioritize, discuss realistic goals with friends and family, stay in the here and now and focus on one class at a time, which I've been trying to like, you know, go back and forth, but it does not work. You need to stick with one. And um, also, also with like getting enough sleep, this, this um, says that, Lack of sleep actually makes your task much harder. Your mental health, physical health, stress levels, and schedule are all affected. And I am going to preach to that because my lack of sleep and of how uh, much like physical strength and like mental strength my work, um, like you need it for that. And with the lack of sleep and trying to do everything, it has gotten to me and it has overwhelmed my body like physically and mentally where I went to the hospital where I went to the ER because I was getting um basically I was just like getting sick and like my body was just like saying you need to stop did I stop no but I am now taking more of my health more into actual like matters so yeah so one of the questions that we were asked is what did we do to act on what we've learned through our research so I started to apply my what I learned throughout my research um, to my day-to-day -day life slowly because I know that if I change it, it's going to be too much of a change and I'm just going to like procrastinate and I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it. Um, and also we're asked if, um, if it worked for us and if we would do it again and if we would recommend it. From what I've been doing recently, it has been working. I can feel it. I don't feel as stressed anymore. Um, I will be doing it again because I will be adding more to it and I would recommend some parts to um, other students but not everything because everyone's like their own personal life is very different to others you know like some things that I, I'm gonna have a search and schedule and that might not be exactly the perfect fit for another student you know so um, I would recommend a lot of things like such as like making sure you're eating healthy make sure you get a planner Maybe not a planner, you know, just like make sure that you get a list at least um, of what you need to do day to day or weekly, you know, and then um, talking with people. That is very important. Talking either about your mental health, your physical health, or just like trying to like, have someone to keep in touch with you about what you're doing. Um, and then we're asked about what we, who we did we share and then with 
did we get any feedback and what was it like to share so i obviously am sharing my videos with youtube so hello youtube and i also shared it with my class and then after i'm done with both videos which is this the second video um i'm gonna be sharing it with my family because we don't really see each other that much it'll be like maybe like very small interactions throughout the week um we do see each other mostly on the weekends though that's like the days that we actually do see each other from morning to night um but we're like busy or we're you know doing like some family time and we don't really want that we don't like talk about like this stuff that much um i'll they'll ask me when i get home late at night but you know we're all tired we all want to go to bed so it's very short kept um and you know we'll do like some phone calls like if i'm at work i'll call my mom and i'll talk to her about that day but yeah so i want to show them how my day to day life is because um with this new life thing with work and school it we have very different schedules because when i'm home they are either at school or my parents are at work and then when they're home i'm at school and then i go to work so either way we're not home at the same time unless it's usually the weekends my main takeaways from this project is that i need to prioritize my education and i need to be able to communicate with others to help not feel crammed and fall behind so i work so i have more hours at my work than i do in my education i work maybe like from a 30 35 40 ish hours a week 40 is like if i'm working full hour shifts which some nights i do um and it's five nights a week six to eight hours a day well night and i roughly go to school maybe eight ten hours um yeah i'm most likely will be at the school for that long maybe not like at the school but you know doing like study stuff that is usually like how long ish um and then I said in my little paper thing that I do have my online studies, which takes like 10 hours a week. And then plus doing my homework. There isn't that much time. And when I'm trying to do everything at once, it actually makes me fall behind because I feel like very, um, I feel really cramped and really rushed. And then when the due dates come up and like I see that I'm, I don't have everything that I'm supposed to have done, I'll do all nighters and I'll take like a five an, an hour nap around five in the morning and then go to school or work or whatever comes up. But yeah, in one of the videos, I do think that I was, yeah, I was doing my homework and then I ended around eleven something. That was a night where I did fall behind in that that um like little class thing and um, I needed to finish my stuff that night. So that night was very stressful because I usually come home, I shower first, and then I do whatever I need to do afterward. But that night I did straight homework and then I ate and then I came upstairs and showered and everything. So that is what I need to focus on is putting my schoolwork first before anything else because then I'm up really late. And then our amount of hours that we spent on this, which is on for four phases, which is our research, our research are um, acting on it, um, are sharing and are reflecting. So my research, I'm going to say, this is all a really rough estimate. It's gonna be about three hours of my research. Acting is like 10 hours. It's basically like any time that I get before I go to school, after I'm done with school or going before and after work as well. Um, and I started that like when I started doing um, I started doing stuff once I started doing my research with our thing. So maybe like two weeks ago I did it. Yeah, maybe like two weeks ago. And then sharing, I'm going to say, is most likely an hour. Um, and then reflecting two hours because I've been doing all my editing and just making sure that everything is actually what I'm, what actually did happen. Um, so, yeah. So this is the end of this little video project. So a recap of what I learned. And I'm going to read this exactly from here so I don't add more and I don't like say less. So a recap of what I learned from my research and what I've been doing to act on it is that I saw that how sleep is one of the most important things that has to be done. And I have been getting, um, I have been going to sleep at a better time. And I do think in one of my videos, in, not in my videos, in one of the part of the video, I did say that I'm going to sleep around like 9.20, 9.30.
Um, and then I woke up the next day at 7.50 and I think I had school the next day and I actually felt really refreshed. I felt ready to go. I actually had my stuff done and that day I wasn't stressed at all. Um, and I have been making um, time to actually do my homework during the grace periods that I have between work and school, which again that day I did um, I did homework when I got home because I had like a two or three hour grace period I think before going to work and as well as limiting my distractions which is i did say that i learned that the new library campus at my the new library building at my campus um actually has very little distractions and i was able to get a lot done throughout the time i don't have earphones or headphones because i don't want to buy them because i don't want to um so I couldn't really listen to music and all my, literally all my focus was just on that. I put my phone to the side. I only had like, I only looked at it to see the time to make sure I wasn't falling. Like I wasn't going to be late to work, but that day, like it did help me a lot. So I will most likely definitely be going back throughout my next quarter and the following quarters that I have at that campus because it did help me a lot. And I feel like I will um, have a better um, study time there. And then doo -doo 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 -doo, I just said that also as having an organizer. So I do have a planner. I did use it in the beginning of this quarter, but I kind of stopped and slacked off, basically pro pro procrastinated from it. So um, and I did realize that once I stopped doing that, then I started to fall behind on stuff because I wasn't like keeping myself uh, aware of it. So oh, not aware, accountable for it. So I do think I'm going to be doing my best um, to keep on using it throughout the next quarters so it can help me and just help me not like slack off and I can actually have like a visual representation of what I need to know instead of just like trying to remember about it. And then um, after and then after sharing these videos, I will be talking more with my parents and close friends about what I'm planning to do for my week, educational wise and work wise to share and hopefully have that support that extra support throughout the week um hopefully they check in what i would like is for them to check in with me and see where i am um and just like thinking that like be like oh they're gonna ask me and i need to have this done i feel like it'll be another encouragement for me to keep up with my schoolwork and not fall behind and make because i know that my education is all on me but i know that if i have if I tell someone else about like, hey, I'm planning to do these assignments this week, you know, and then they ask, oh, hey, like, how are these assignments going? I'm like, oh, no, I didn't do this one, but I did do these other ones. But it's just like a um, little check in with myself as well um, to make sure I'm getting st stayed on track. So thank you for watching. I know this video is mostly for my teacher, just so you can see, Alana, uh, but yeah, I think this research, this project was a really great thing for me because I feel like I'm going to be able to um, expand my um, journey with school as a college student and working and make it a little bit more happier instead of being stressful. So yeah, thank you for watching and until next time, I guess.